We are brought here today to honor one of Filthy Clean Vegan's most treasured vegan idols, Natalie Portman. Hello everyone, welcome to Filthy Clean Vegan and today we are gonna be making the Natalie Portman curry. This recipe is genuinely Natalie Portman's recipe, but spiced up a little bit. She made this for a YouTube video and she got a lot of flack for not spicing it up. Uh, to people's satisfaction but I think people failed to remember that at the end of the day Natalie Portman is not a chef she's just a, a, a mum a woman that likes to cook and someone who loves to be vegan so I've just added a few extra spices and a few extra flavours it keeps the core of what Natalie Portman tried to do with her recipe and makes it even more fulfilling and flavoursome I love this recipe I make it pretty much how Natalie Portman makes it usually, which is pretty bare bones, just courgettes uh, and a bit of spice and a bit of chilli. At the end of the day, that's all you need really. You don't have to go all out every single time you cook necessarily. And if you're anything like me, you don't want to do that. But today we're adding a bit of leek in as well and a few extra spices just to, and a bit of lemon, just to bring the dish up a bit and do something that maybe you'd like a bit more. This is a really quick and easy dish to make and all you need particularly is some onions, tomatoes and chickpeas to make something genuinely resembling this dish. And although Natalie Portman released a lot of flack for what she made, honestly I think she's done an incredible thing for the vegan community and for mums and people who, or dads and people who have to cook for families that can't do it fast, I think she's shown them a really brilliant dish and she doesn't deserve anywhere near the amount of steak that she got for this recipe. This has done me a lot of good and I wanted to share it with you all. One and a half tins of tomatoes we've added in here because I did a lot more food than I imagined. This actually ended up serving me four times, which is insane because the recipe only usually serves me about two times, but clearly I went overboard. Running in coriander, cumin, smoked paprika, a bit of chili flakes, getting lots of spice into the dish. Obviously you've got the onions and the garlic at the beginning to serve a nice base. And we've got a few more extra veggies and the tomatoes. At the end, we're gonna put a bit of lemon in. All it takes really is frying down all the uh, base ingredients, adding the tomatoes in and just letting the dish simmer for about 20-30 minutes until it's what you're happy with. Do it with a bit of rice on the side and it's pretty much perfect after that. I've just said it now but honestly, thanks Natalie Portman for making this. You've really made an absolute treat of the dish and I think you should be celebrated more for what you did for veganism. You're one of the first celebrities to come out with it. You've been a great advocate for it. You've produced documentaries that help it. And yeah, we should treasure you a lot more. So yeah, this one goes out to Natalie, just like everything else Filthy Clean Vegan it pretty much ever does. I'm obsessed with her, but that doesn't take anything or add anything to this dish. It really is a treasure. I recommend it with a bit of mayo and a bit of cheese. And yeah, that's it. I hope you all enjoy.